I'm here to introduce to you today Intel Optane H10, a combination of Intel Optane memory and Intel QLC 3D NAND storage in one unit. Codename Teton Glacier, let's try and unpack this in a couple of minutes. Let's go. There's a range of different SSD types and there's certainly a scale of speed, from entry-level SATA SSDs to top-end NVMe PCIe SSDs. Now there's even Gen 4 PCIe 2. Still with me? Good. Intel recently released Intel Optane M10 to the masses. They used it to speed up hard drives and give them SSD-like performance with hard drive-like capacities. Brilliant. Optane is smart cache with embedded intelligence. It stores commonly used system, program, and media files, speeding up everything you do on your PC. The more you used it, the smarter it got. Optane is not as fast as RAM, but it's non-volatile and faster than storage. Found in 16 gig and 32 gig sizes, it was pretty good value for money for gamers and creators. Now we have Optane on SSD or Optane H10. This is what we were waiting for. Taking the upper level of SSD performance up another gear. So we have hard drives, we have hard drives with Optane and then entry level SSDs. And then we have great SSDs and then SSDs with Optane from Intel at the top here. Make sense? Good. But what does it mean for you? For gamers, launch PUBG up to 26 times faster. Yes, 26. What about launching a PowerPoint presentation up to 72% faster? Or opening Photoshop project files up to 59% faster? Or even opening Premiere Pro project files up to 78% faster? Now that's first an Intel SSD, so I can only imagine what the difference is to lesser SSDs, let alone old style hard drives. It's clear that if you want to dramatically improve performance for gaming, creating, or just everyday working, then Intel Optane H10 memory should definitely be on your shopping list.